One-sided limits are a continuation of continuity. Um, it's they're pretty basic ideas. Uh, you're still using the same limit process, except you're um, determining a limit by approaching it from both the left and the right. Uh, so here I just have a graph set up. Um, this is the graph of the absolute value of x divided by x and what I'll be uh, looking to find is the limit as x approaches zero. Um, as you can see uh, there's a discontinuity at x equals zero because of this um, this x in the denominator and not being able to cancel anything out from the numerator. So to in order to prove this algebraically you're going to look at or in order to prove it graphically you're going to look at the graph and from here this notation states the limit as x approaches zero from the negative of the function. So uh, it's asking, it's saying, what uh, what value is this function approaching as it comes closer and closer to zero from the negative side? And um, based on the graph, that value is going to be negative one. Now, uh, likewise, this one is asked. This uh, notation is saying the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive uh, of f of x. So what value is the function approaching as you get closer and closer to x equals 0 from the positive side? So from the right side. And that equals 1. Because, because your right hand, or because your this is also, when you come from the left, that's also known as the uh, left-hand limit. And that's when you have the little negative sign. And then as you come from the right, that's indicated by the positive sign. Because the left-hand limit does not equal the right-hand limit, then there's a discontinuity at x equals 0 which means that the limit as x approaches zero uh, does not exist because um, if you're coming from the left side uh, it's getting it's approaching negative one and if you're coming from the left if you're coming from the right side you're approaching one and because those are two different values then the limit does not exist. Um, this is usually used when you're given a piecewise function and you're asked to find any discontinuities, which is why it's in the same section as the uh, continuity section. And so here I have an example. Find any discontinuities. Use one-sided limits in your work. Um, I'm given a piecewise function here where f of x equals these uh, three situations. And so um, how I'm going to set this up is I'm just going to set up three, three limit problems. So the first one, the limit as x approaches 1, and because this is when x is less than 1, you're going to have the negative sign right there. What it's saying is that um, x is less than 1, 
So it's coming from the function is somewhere over here. And it's coming at one from the negative side. And as stated right here, when you're approaching from the negative side, you're going to have the negative sign right there. So when x is less than 1, the function is just x. So there's that one. The second limit problem we're going to set up is the limit as x approaches 1. This time, since x just equals 1, you don't need a positive or a negative uh, indication indicator right there. And the function is 2. And finally, the limit as x approaches 1, this time from the positive because x is greater than 1, of the function 2x minus 1. So essentially, f of x is three different, uh, three different limit problems, three different functions that make up one big function. And if you recall back to the properties of limits, um, right here you can just do direct substitution. So the limit as x approaches 1 of x is going to equal 1. The, these little signs right here are just indicators as to which side you're coming from. The limit as x approaches 1 of 2 is just going to be 2. And the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive, from the right side, of 2x minus 1 is going to equal 1. Now, a graph will probably help clarify this a little bit. But, um, so as x approaches 1 from the negative, then it's approaching the y value of 1, which means that it's going to be something like this. Now, however, at 1, at x equals 1, the value is 2. So the defined value of x equals 1 is 2. Now, as x approaches 1 from the positive side, that value is going to be 1. So it's going to be something like this. And as you can see, if you recall what discontinuity is, it's when um, you can draw the graph smoothly without lifting your pencil or, or uh, retracing over any lines. And in this case, you're not able to do that because of this discontinuity right here. And if you can also recall, this would be a removable discontinuity because you could redefine that point right there and that would make the entire graph continuous at that or that would make the the graph at x equals 1 continuous